Hello everyone, this is Mike. This is video number 14 in the SDR Uno series of videos. In this video, I'm going to show you an application that interfaces with SDR Uno and it's free. Uh, the name of the app is called CSV User List Browser and a friend of mine, Jay, about a year and a half ago, uh, told me about this application and uh, let me tell you, this thing is amazing. If you're a shortwave listener, a shortwave enthusiast, if uh, it, this is the app you want to use with SDR Uno. Uh, the website, let me just pull this up, it's this way you can see it, is df8ry.de. And what you want to do here is you want to, you want to, you're going to need two, two programs. You're going to need the CSV user list browser, and you're going to need a virtual COM port emulator. And there's, there's two kinds out there. The one that I use is VSP, a VSPE. I'll show you that in a moment. And there's another one. I think it's COM0COM. Zero Com. Uh, you're going to want to go to the download section. Uh, there's two downloads. There's the current version, 4.10, dated 4.4, or the beta. I suggest the beta uh, because it's all the everything that's that's been updated since this current version is in the beta. So we'll download that. I've already downloaded previously, uh, and I'll, I'll show you what to do. After you download it, you're going to want to create a folder on your desktop uh, called CSV User List. You're going to take the zip file uh, that you have that you downloaded and copy and paste it into this folder. Go into the README, and it's going to tell you how to rename, uh, not how to rename it, what to rename the default exe to. So for SDR Uno, you're going to want to rename their executable to this. So just right click this up to the .exe, copy it, go into your CSV user list browser folder that you created, and then into the subfolder, and rename this, and just paste it right in. That part is done. The next thing you want to do is uh, download a virtual COM port emulator and the one that I use as I said is uh, VSPE and I'll bring this site into view and the site here is eterlogic.com and just go right into their virtual serial port emulator here they have two editions the 32-bit edition which is free and the 64-bit edition which is not free I'm using a 64-bit uh, flavor of Windows and I purchased this uh, just click on download and install it. After you install it, I'll bring this up. You're going to have a, an icon on your desktop called VSPE. Double click on that and you're going to be presented with this screen. Let me just delete this. This way it makes it easier for you guys. And you're going to want to click here, create new device. So we'll click that and we're going to want to make a pair. It's the third one down click next and create your pair B double check your device manager make sure that you're not creating a pair uh, that's going to interfere with uh, your rigs com ports if you're using omni rig uh, we will take a look let me pull mine up and just look in your port section and I have two ports uh, three and four which is being used for my FTDX 3000 so Obviously, I'm not going to use 3 or 4. I'm going to go way above that. I'm going to use ports 11 and 12. Now, these are virtual serial ports. They're not uh, you know, physical hardware ports on your computer. And we want to emulate board rate and click Finish. After we do that, we're going to want to save it. So save it as and put it on your desktop. Uh, save it to anything you like. So I have one here already, KD2KOG, which is my call and you're going to want to move that file into your startups. This way every time you start your computer this virtual COM port emulator is going to start up also. If you don't want to do it that way, that's fine. Just uh, leave the shortcut on your desktop and when you want to use CSV user list browser just double click on the uh, virtual COM port emulator to launch it. So we have that. Let's uh, get CSV uh, user list browser running. So we're going to double click on the renamed executable. And from here, 
the very first thing you're going to want to do is go to web and download converter you're going to want to check off all of these check marks here like I have in mind I, I previously installed this uh, in a, about an hour ago but it's going to be the same thing for you guys so just check these off and click save and close it's going to tell you that it's not done that's fine go back in and click download and now it's going to reinitiate the download off of all of these lists the Oki list, the EIBI, uh, HFCC these are just some of the options you can import uh, your own uh, you know your own frequency list so let's let this go I'll save it now we're going to want to go to file I like EIBI because EIBI uh, will give me distance uh, I don't believe the Oki does so I'm going to select import EIBI and it's right here in our CSV user list browser and that part is done you're going to want to select now that's very important right here you want to select now go into your options go into your settings go into your com ports update the port list and select port number 12 now we made two we made 11 and we made 12 we're gonna assign 11 to SDR Uno and we're gonna assign 12 to this CSV user list browser so we'll do that and we'll apply it so it says right here com port applied the speed leave that at default and click close now we're gonna launch SDR Uno and you're gonna go into your RX control inside your RX control you want to go to cat select number 11 board rate doesn't matter do not use RX mode control and just go to enable and connect and it says connected so we can close that save your workspace which is uh, clicking on your your workspace name while holding control and clicking on the name with the left mouse button I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way this way you can see how this is working and as I said we want to make sure that now is selected and let's give ourselves some separation between the tune and the LO and we're gonna to have to select here to have it track now just give me a moment I haven't used this in a while and I will show you how to find that Get it on a frequency that's transmitting. Okay, it's next to the all button. What the all button is doing is it's showing you everything that's being transmitted right now at this current time in UTC, and it's going to just show everything in the list. Select track, which is right here, and now it's going to track to SDR Uno's uh, current frequency so as I move around it's telling me what's what's on it's almost in the same uh, it's it's kind of the same as uh, SDR Uno's memory panel uh, filtered by uh, VRX let's put this in AM mode and as I'm moving about it's it's tracking it perfectly okay now is the which I think is the most awesome part of this uh, of this software you're gonna wanna set your QTH which is your your location so you're gonna wanna go into tools QTH manager and it's gonna wanna know your grid location just google uh, grid location mine is FN30CS so let me take this out I'm gonna take all of these out because we're gonna set the main QTH just bear with me as I take all of these out. All right, FN thirty CS, and I'm going to name the QTH to my call sign. 
and we're going to save the oh, uh, click for main QTH and select user list EIBI and this is fine just click save and save details now close now distant bearing for QTH we're going to close this down and then relaunch it so this way we can we can select our uh, new QTH and there it is KD2KOG and it's telling me the distance from this station Radio Cairo which is on 9895 uh, is 8,000 miles away from me so now this is the really cool part go to options and we want world map I'm sorry tools world map and here I am and there's the transmitter location so we can right click we want to show the grid we want to show the clocks and we want to make this bigger so this way you guys can see it so now let's just tune around and it's giving me all the locations let's see what that is okay voice agrees now here's another really cool function let me just make this smaller uh, to work with this clock it's the right click of the mouse so let's just make that small and you can actually fit that in your your workspace let's look for parallel broadcast so you're gonna click P and it's gonna show me all the frequencies that voice of Greece is gonna transmit on right now so let's try that one and let's see if they're coming in apologize for not having the audio on but I just I really wanted to show you guys uh, this amazing amazing program okay nothing there so we'll take it off of uh, parallel and put it back to track which is right here and let's see what this is and that's basically it I uh, hope you guys like this video I'm gonna be at the Hamvention uh, which is in Ohio so if you guys anybody's gonna be there uh, stop by the HRO booth and uh, say hello and I'll be giving demonstrations of the RSP and SDR Uno and I, I'll be more than happy to meet anybody there and, and discuss SDRs or SDR Uno or anything that has to do with our hobby uh, which I, I really love uh, I really appreciate everybody from the community and and you know all the ham radio operators so I'll say seven threes for now hope to see you guys at the hamvention and I don't know if I'll get another video out before Thursday I'll try my best uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one like I said this CSV userless browser is phenomenal there's so many other functions actually before I sign off let me see if I can show you guys uh, the uh, signal meter okay so we're gonna go to tools we're gonna go to SDR Uno signal plotter and the QTH just put in yours put in uh, you can put anything you want in there uh, the station frequency it should get the information uh, from what's currently in the list so it's gonna go to options and take station name from list and I'm just gonna show you quickly I'm gonna start a plot and it's showing me I believe it's doing it in, in steps of uh, it's not super precise but it's good enough so it's giving me uh, the information right here and as you see this signal meter is moving this is going to follow along with it so if I want to check propagation or see how well I'm receiving the signal over time uh, this this is <laughs> in my eyes this is fantastic I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and I'll stop the plot and I believe you can zoom in you can uh, you can zoom out there's so many things with this program alright guys 7-3 Thank you so much, and uh, hope to see you at the Hamvention.